were just up here last week, so we won't have a full on walkthrough, but we will look at a few things here. This uh, little back combing, Doug just got that in today. Like three bolts per winch. Okay, only three per winch, okay. <laughs> Which was enough in Maine, but it's not enough out here. You see the little, little stoppers there too? You can see little, these little blocks to hold the, the lid down and the seat in, I guess? Yeah, so you won't. You can't slip out. Can't slip out, no. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing better than a good sharp chisel, you know. Well, we were just up here last week, so we won't have a full-on walkthrough. Nothing too much to look at, but we will look at a few things here. This uh, little back combing, Doug just got that in today or yesterday? Finally, it looks nice. And I see the little, little stoppers there too. You can see little, these little blocks to hold the, the lid down and the seat in, I guess? Yeah, no, you won't. You can't slip out. Can't slip out, no. Yeah. Beautiful. This is all re reframed in because you remember it was raw, how raw it was. Well, I just remember this back piece was off. Well, that was off, now it's back on. Well, we were able to save these, you know. Perfect, yeah. I mean. We want to save as much as possible, that's the trick. Yeah. So these are now bolt. was this bolted in? Yeah. Okay. Two 516 bolts right Which, in, in these holes here? No, that just screws the cap on. Oh, okay. So that's underneath the cap? Yeah. Oh, that was two pieces. Okay, I see. Beautiful. I found Beautiful. two uh, eight-inch bolts. <laughs> and then this is all now, you can start to sand this just to... It's about 80% sanded. It only took, that only took 10 minutes. And was that sanding it just to see how it's coming out or to get ready to fit the hatch? Uh, both, but also the, to put this on. Oh, okay, right, right. We did this day before yesterday. To get that underneath, that had to be sanded. Yeah. Yeah. Had to detail that out. And then got some varnish on the log up there. Oh, you did? And a little instrument panel. Oh, let's go look at that. Varnish uh, on that little instrument panel there, okay. Yep. And uh, so Clint's doing the last two scenes. Let's see that. Okay, we got some varnish here. See how that's going, nice. And on the panel. Yep. Great. And uh, now we're so working on the winches. He's taking those off? Yeah, we put these on this morning. Sharp chisel, you know. <laughs> really? Yep. Do you sharpen those yourself? Oh, yeah. Okay. Nothing worse than a dull one. <laughs> Nothing worse than a dull chisel. <laughs> These are the little blocks. Nice. And this piece is called the combing? What's yeah, this is the aft combing. These are the side combing. Side combing. How do you spell that combing? C O A M I N G. C O A M I N G. And Okay. We, we got this as far out as we could here, so that the tanks still come out, of course. But um, to try to get a gasket back in here, you yeah. know, to help seal it. You, you won't ever be able to seal this area because, completely, but we're going to try. So you didn't get a gasket in there? No, yeah. You, you put a uh, we just finished dolphinite the... or something under there? Oh, this is epoxy on. No, the, uh, the, the combing. Well, this is epoxy down, too. Down, okay, oh, gotcha, yeah. yeah. Because um, the hatch will have gaskets on it. Okay, yeah. I mean, it'll be better than it was, but because of this design, the beams, the deck beams are too close together. With this cut out here, you can't really get a decent combing in there, so to speak. Okay. But it'll be better than it was. All right. And what about little stuff I'm noticing here, like the way the varnish is split here at the seam underneath here? Where? Here? Yeah. Oh, that's typical. That's typical? Yep. 
do we need to do anything with that? Well, the whole thing needs to be varnished. Okay, so I mean, and I, like you miter that out a little bit before you yeah. re okay. Now what we're going to do too is is like the winch pads yeah. and this area right here between them. Yeah. Before we put those on, we're going to sand that out and varnish it. And the winch pads with a couple of good coats. Because once it's in, it's really hard to get in here. Sure, sure. And so, why not do it on the bench? Once okay, yeah, we'll in, go take a look at those as well. Yeah, in fact, uh, we can go down and look at what we're doing with the winches right now. Yeah. See, here's the old bolts. Yeah, we saw these, yeah. They were 5 16 and if you look underneath the heads, there was a little corrosion. Okay. And there were only three bolts per winch. Okay, only three per winch, okay. <laughs> which was enough in Maine, but it's not enough out here. Um, so there's six holes. So we went from 5 eighths to 3 eighths, or 5 sixteenths to 3 eighths. Okay. And you see we had to get a longer bolt because we've added that blocking underneath the deck. True, yeah. Which is good. So bigger, longer, stronger. Well, and it's, if you're gonna overkill something, it should be right there. If you get a big head sail going, the winds in this channel come up like that. And you can load these winches up with literally hundreds of pounds in seconds. So, and some of these were slightly bent, like they'd been stressed a little. Okay. There's only three bolts per winch plus some screws, so we're doing all bolts. All bolts, all, all six. Bolts. Yeah. And it's no more trouble. And you had to drill out the metal of the winches that they Yeah, did. these are, the holes are just under three eighths. So we'll drill them out and uh, part like this and not now but when we go to put them on the boat permanently we'll uh, clean them up and re-grease them okay service them because they're a little sticky right now okay yeah they haven't been used in a few years not like that but you should just, just do that you know? <laughs> See the holes are almost three eighths, but not quite. So we're gonna drill okay. them out, and then we drill those the winch pads before. You know, while we still got them down here, that way you're not up on the boat drilling through the winch and through the pad and through the deck. <laughs> yeah. So we can install those. Do this drilling here. You still have to drill the deck, right? Yeah, but once once uh, you do that. An hour a piece. Put them in each side. It's all. It's all about getting there. Yeah. An hour. So we'll drill these real quick and uh, we'll take them over to the. This is the last of four. This is the last one. You good. All right. Nice. You see, we don't have to take much material. <laughs> it's a wooden boat after all. That's as low tech as low we tech is the way to go sometimes. Keep it simple. We're not taking very much material. This hole, there was a screw here. There was a screw in there? Oh no, that was a, it wasn't drilled all the way out, huh? No, yeah, but we're just following the screw hole. Somewhere along the line, if you look underneath you, see where they doweled a couple of these holes. Oh, okay. So the holes were drilled out and then patched? Yeah, and then they put a big screw in. So now, you can know, just set this up on deck and position it. Drill it on deck. So it's going to just go right where you need to go. Yep. You feel like you're getting good wood in there? Oh, yeah.
Beautiful. <laughs>